Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 40. I am Brian GM. It is the 26th of March 2020. We are still in lockdown. Here are the players. Hello, this is Adrian. I play Aria Bluebird, the half of Druid. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm playing Combar, who's a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. And what do people remember from last time? The dreaded question. We, we leveled up! Did we teleport or something? <laughs> You've already teleported, so that was the previous one. Yeah. So you just went from the Golden Order to Glitterhaven. And now we're travelling up to go meet Mr. Dwarfy Face. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a phrase, yeah. Um, Sir and we took the road. <laughs> Sorry, oh yeah, I get <laughs> King Dwarfy. King, <laughs> King, 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 King Dwarfy. Yeah, King Dwarfy. You know, maybe um, giving you guys the yeah, world we... to save wasn't the best idea, was it? Like, you know, in retrospect, it was a folly hey, hey. on my part. Hey. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that, that was all on you, bro. Um, yeah, but we went through the kind of, we bought some horses, um, gave them names because we're awesome. Uh, went through the bit, like the kind of, Road less traveled, shall we say, and uh, kicked a bunch of kobold asses and got a level up. I mean, they weren't kobolds, no, but yeah, you did fight. Well, it's a bit like it. But what were they? I thought they were kobolds. I, I mean, I don't know. Does somebody just want to roll some kind of, I don't know, nature check or some shit or history check or something? I don't know. Uh, Even just I an intelligence roll. check. Oh. Ah, yeah, would be the <laughs> usual one, I was thinking. Okay. You mean the best statted? <laughs> Isn't yeah. your wisdom pretty decent, though? I thought your wisdom was yeah. decent. <laughs> My wisdom's pretty, uh, yeah. very good, but uh, ah, yeah, I was thinking for nature, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I could roll nature. Yeah, okay. go for it. Why not? Ta -da. Yeah, they weren't kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it's a pretty bad roll. It's a good oh, one to get rid of. <laughs> Do you know, weirdly, like, <laughs> was it us last time that we were rolling badly, or did we roll okay last time? Because, see, the Monday group, they rolled terribly the last time as well. They were having a bad day. Um, it does seem to ha yeah, hang around for a day, that, mm -hmm. though. That's I've noticed quite uh, often. <laughs> the lingering luck of bad dice. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> also, I don't know if MD else has this activity or not. Does this work? Let me just, let me just see if that actually made a difference or not. Uh, does somebody want to do One a roll? Just crumbar roll an intelligence check. Just not a save, just a check. Just click on your intelligence. Well, crap. Done the other one. Did that work for every day? Bah! Or no, just me. What then. are we doing? How did you manage to roll that? Oh. You so rolled the same twice. <laughs> did you actually roll twice? Did you roll twice? Yeah, or? I rolled twice. I rolled right. a save and then just. The same one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, no, I I'm a king. Oh, plus one and minus one, no, but okay, right. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't do it for everybody, that's interesting. No, I thought I had like a global setting there for the game, which is the 3D dice setting, which personally I hate, yeah. but I was wondering if it was going to work for you guys or not. Have you ever used that, anyone here? No. Oh, what, well, like you actually the dice? Yeah, like it's Can't awful, to be honest, but like, if you go up to the... I think I tried to do that on my tablet. Mm-hmm. Go into your settings tab, like right? Gonna... Top right, my settings, and then go down to enable 3D mm. dice and automatically roll 3D dice. If you tick both of them and then just roll something. What is fudge, by the way? Fudge is a type I like of dice. Fudge. So, is fudge is a. 50%? No, it's you roll four dice that are D6 shaped. Huh. And they are two sides of positive, two sides have negative, and two sides are blanks. And you roll four of them I at want a time. Fudge. It's a totally different system. Right. Hi. Everybody getting dice rolling Bring across me their fudge. screens. Bring Is that fudge a new one? Was that there before? That was or? there before. Yeah. Okay. It's not giving me any fudge, Ryan. It's because you're rolling badly. Yeah, so the fudge dice system can pretty much handle any concept you could imagine. Like... 
you could play the Avengers in it, you could play Harry Potter in it, you could play anything in it, because it's so simplistic that everyone's on the same level. So, yeah, you get a bunch of sentences that describe your character, and each of those sentences has a value of like one or two, depending on what they are. So, for example, you could have a you know, billionaire playboy th philanthropist as one of your things that's a plus two. So you roll your fudge dice and go, well, obviously I'm going to pay for the, you know, the yacht with my billionaire playboy philanthropist, and you spend points to use your plus two in that. So you roll your fudge dice and then you add your two to it and it's against the difficulties. It's very simple. But that's not really why we're here, to explain fudge. <laughs> uh, they sound fun. Yeah, so I'm going to just disable all them because I hate them personally. Uh, but no light. <laughs> just weird just, you think they put lighting on them. Yeah, What's like... The they're, for, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm not... like It might get better. One day, I actually think it would be cooler if there was just a dice tray, like app part in the game, like where you could yeah. just see like the chat. Like if there was just like a dice yeah. tray where it would just show yeah. you the d twenties there, but no, I just uh, blah. <laughs> mostly blah. Uh, but yes, anything else happened Skins last time that was... people care about? Um, I got a portion of fire breathing. Mm -hmm. You did. Yep. Yeah, we did pretty really well for stuff. I else? Did. I mean, it was like a trading caravan, yeah. It was a trading caravan that got raided, so yeah. And more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, more money. So Kitty's happy. Starting to recoup the horse loss. Yep. So that's not bad. Um, the you basically paid for the horses. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You're starting to money. recoup the horse losses. Oh. Uh, you've also got... That's what else we've got here. Somebody else want to roll to... Check out those bodies then, because obviously your your druid didn't help. Anybody else want to give it a go? That's what we're talking about before we get really distracted. What's that? And identifying the people you fought. Ah, uh, the right. What I wisdom mean, you were saying? Just normal wisdom or something else? Or? No, I'm just saying you had good wisdom. It's a history check or uh, a nature check. History. I'd be happy to do a history check. I'm not doing yeah. a nature check. It's either or, so. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, they're definitely not kobolds. Not kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We're all idiots. MD else, I mean, I'm allowed to keep going. This is funny. <laughs> um, Yolo, I'm going to um, roll persuasion. Can I try yeah. something else? No, I'm going to roll for the dead body to tell you what it is. <laughs> Resurrect right. it. What are you? <laughs> I'm going to roll persuasion to persuade wine to tell us what it is. Damn it. They're not no, you're not. That's perception. One That's the best thing is you roll perception <laughs> to roll persuasion. <laughs> you feel perception. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Scott. Never change. <laughs> hey, you can't change perfection. Perception, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, anyone listening to this, this was during the lockdown, so forgive us all. Um, do you want to try, no. do you wanna try history? We're all a bit mad here. Do you want to try history, Crumbar, instead, maybe? You were good Probably at history, not. remember? You're like nat 20. 20! <laughs> oh my god! Nope. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, I'm going home. <laughs> you are home. <laughs> Well, I'm going to a hotel. <laughs> oh dear. I'd be willing oh, to find your home. <laughs> oh dear. Like, Shit, I'm not home. Don't tell the government. <laughs> right. So, I've lost a kitty from Row 20, but that seems fine, apparently. Um, so, right. so, is, is there something else I could look at and, and try to figure out? Nah, we'll see what kitty rolls. Oh. Is Sophie still on? D twenty? No, not D twenty. Um, Discord. Yeah. On Discord, yeah, she's muted. Discord she... can delay the load, like dropping out though. So. Mm. No, I'm. Oh. oh. Yeah, you're oh. muted, but I can hear okay. you. Mm -hmm. What? That's interesting. Um, I don't like it. Wait, can, can you still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because like on mine, it's still saying I'm muted, and it's not yeah. even showing Same. the green. Same. as well. <laughs> can you? <laughs> can you well. Yay! There we go. Okay. What? <laughs> right, guys. Creepy. Guys, who Google Google? Because somebody <laughs> broke the internet. Oh dear. Um, what well, is so you know, roll in history? Uh, you can roll history or nature, whatever one you want. Okay, because like, I rolled history. <laughs> no, she can't. She's not in the game. Oh, you're back oh, in. Wow. 
Nice. You're not allowed to leave the game all night. <laughs> <laughs> or every time you're going, every time you're going to roll, you need to leave and join the game. <laughs> so the thing I'm sharing in the chat is kobolds, right? This is what kobolds look like. By the way, what chat are you looking at? Here? Yeah, they're kobolds. Right, so they're kobolds. Where are you are looking? We, in GG goblins, general chat. Look, the one in the middle is a kitty kobold. No, no, the one at the end is mm -hmm. a kitty kobold. In fact, they all are. They're all just looking the... The things you thought were these. Yeah. They're hobgoblins. Hobgoblins, same difference. Very much different. Oh, goblins. What yeah. is? They're a strange thing because you would think they were a bit more goblin y, wouldn't you? You would think, but they're an yeah. interesting. And they're also a playable race as well. Oh, goblin. Kind of are cool. they? Yeah. One of the books have them as a playable race. don't know what their, uh, their gem is, though. Also, do you want to lift your mic above your nose for me, Scott? Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. It just keeps kind of. Coming towards my face. That's fine. Like, These oh, things hey. happen. Uh, okay. Too much porn. There's actually two different types of hobgoblin you can play as. One from Volo's Guide to Monsters, and one from the Eberron book, apparently. Mm. Anyway. Yes. Shall we continue on our merry adventure? Well, let's talk about goals then. Now that we've identified it was hobgoblins that you fought. So, <laughs> goals. Let's have a review. Know the difference between a kobold and a cobgoblin. A hobgoblin, yes. <laughs> uh, right, we've got get word to GGW about Gil. We've got to figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. We have the placeholder, how to persuade a dragon, which is the one you were looking to think about for this this session. And then we've got get the dwarves to help the citadel and figure out Aramos's location. So, goal number three. Then we got any ideas what they want for that to be? I thought we had well, them all done there. I thought yeah. we did done it. I mean, we put in a placeholder, which was how to persuade a uh, dragon. Yeah. Um, I mean, get an audience with the king, but that the dwarf king, but that kind of falls in part with number four. So it's like another one could be just get through the dwarven <laughs> realm safely. Mm -hmm. Could be. Right. <laughs> It could be, get, be get to forge safely, yeah. That could be get a goal. To forge safe. mm -hmm. Yeah, batter that in. Yeah, so I'm going to type that in then. I'm going to have that as goal number three. Don't have to even change the colour because it was Rich that suggested it. Yeah, to... Handy. Yeah. Forge is now spelt with a D. Sure. <laughs> does, no, it's a does, silent D. Anyone want to change any of the other goals or tweak them in any way? I'm still quite happy with mine. Mm -hmm. And see the annoying thing about changing them? They don't even do them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the point of putting in goal. Uh... It's like. So do you Watch want me to make like a fake list, like a hidden list where you, you put ones that we yeah, could have won. <laughs> the actual real goal list that I don't tell you about? <laughs> right, um, keep in mind, Kate, as well, the goals aren't specifically player like owned, as it were. It's just like any of these can be done by anyone, obviously. It's, they're team goals, team building and other such things. Um, oh, we might have lost Kate again, but it's fine. No, I'm still here. I just mean from World 20. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> well, I'm I'm like not moved from it. I mean, I I went to the, no, the game have. manager okay. tab, but it's maybe just because of the um, Road Twenty's connection issues. It's maybe just like yeah, the sheer yeah. volume of people now playing uh -huh. online. I know, so it might just be a uh, have to refresh every now and then. Be nice if it prioritised people that a pay for it and b had a lot of hours in it. That would be good. Yeah. Um, I think I've got over 2,000 hours in it, which is probably not much compared to some of the crazy GMs out there that have been using it for years longer than I have. I've got more than computer games, funny enough, which is yeah. sad. But yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just what happens. I don't actually know how long I've logged now. How long has this been going? It'll be on your profile page, but you'd need to exit everything to see that. 
right. um, so let's not don't. let's not do that <laughs> no but if you ever decide that you want to check that out just go to your like, account page and it'll tell you your, all right your playtime and also yeah. you can unlock achievements in this so you can do like so many dice rolls like there's one for like over five thousand dice rolls and stuff like that which is kind of cool I also, really? sorry to anyone that came here oh. listening to us for a Keepers of the Golden Gate chat, because we've done very little of that so far. So let's get back <laughs> to it. Um, Roll all the dice. Uh, dear gods. Yeah. Why? Just. I want achievements. Ah, I see. Well, okay. <laughs> I think that counts as one, by the way, not to quote Gimli, but like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, goals. We're happy with goals then, as is. Um, yeah, because your audience with the the king kind of is covered by get the dwarves to help the citadel, right? Because that doesn't yeah. limit you with having to see the king to do that. Um, I mean, we might just find some dwarves that want to go along and help, not necessarily mm -hmm. under the king's orders. Exactly, Mindo. So fuck the king. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> Uh, goals, I'm happy with those. Um, yeah. So, I think we were left with you guys traveling. I think you were resting to level up. And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure we kind of ended with leveling up. So, I believe we're all wonderful level 6 now, which is pretty awesome, to be honest, for a lot of use. I think. Whoop, whoop. I think for the most part, a bunch of people got like loads of stuff. I think only only Kitty didn't get much at level six, but that's because rogues have like off levels. Um, same with paladins eventually. What do you mean off levels? Like some, like for example, again, let's talk about other stuff. The uh, some classes get stuff really early on. Like sorcerers get loads at level one. Uh, wizards uh -huh. get loads at level two, and most other classes get everything at level three for like early stuff um it's just different classes work different ways when they give you things um like rogues are kind of good all round because they have the potential to do the most damage consistently so long as somebody's giving them their sneak attack right so that's why they don't get much in the way of like like how you get a bunch of stuff each level sophie won't get that as a rogue but right, okay. Sophie might have if she picked a different type of rogue, but then it means she wouldn't have things like burn every day in front of her with her hands, you know? Which is valid, quite frankly. Because she's part wizard that way. Just not the no, class wizard. Is disgusting. Yeah, it's the arcane trickster class that Sophie is is very good. It's a very nice, like, rogue type. Because oh, right, I thought, I just thought uh, Sophie was multi-classing. Nope. It's the inbuilt multi-classing of the rogue class. Um, yeah, it's fucking yeah. good, to be honest. It's the only rogue I would ever play, to be fair. I'm not that big a fan of the class, personally, but that's because I like being magical. Um, but yeah, I like hitting yeah. things with giant weaponry. Mm -hmm. We've noticed, especially doors that break them. Fuck you, door! So, you wake up well-rested after your scuffle at 10 o'clock at night. Um mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I assume you just want to gather your horses up and head off. I, does somebody want to have given me a bunch of survival checks, or do you just want to start using rations? Because I'll let you skip survival rolls if you use rations. So what's the thoughts here? Because pretty sure we did some like three days, um, I believe we skipped. We skipped a few days, I know that much, um, before he got into a fight. I think it was all the... Yeah, all the rolls you did. Oh, pff, I mean, if it wasn't, it is now. So, yeah. uh, well, it was because of the teaching the inferno. We did a few rolls for that, didn't we? So. Yeah, and there was your perception checks that you'd done for like, it was I think it was watches uh, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who went on what watch and whatnot? So yeah, everybody would take turns. Oh, we all did a perception check. So, so no, no, nobody's doing perception checks. So there was three days oh. to account for food retroactively. And I just didn't want to do it last time because. We wanted to get a fight in, so. Mm -hmm. So what's the thoughts, right? I've got faith in our druid. So okay. three days, that would be us having needing at least three rations, right? And then you've got horses to feed. So. So six rations. Per if me, what if me and 
uh, a Drake try and find food. Yeah, one of you can roll with advantage then. For, uh, for yeah. perception? Yeah. Uh, just, no, it's survival. Would it not be like survival? It's survival, and you can just do it three times, because I'm assuming you're going to do it every day. So. Uh, Adri, you want to do it or will I? Yeah, one sec. I just opened my window. People are clapping. I was going to say, it just sounds like you're at the Super Bowl for a brief second. There. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it because there's a big delivery car from Tesco right in front of me, and obviously I'm not getting any deliveries. And folk are um, clapping about it? Yeah, no, it's 8pm. Yeah, no, 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 it's 8pm. Mm. Yeah. They're clapping for the NHS. NHS I was just getting too warm. Oh, is well, was everyone clapping for the NHS? Yeah. All okay. oh, right. I mean... Mm -hmm. Agreed. Well done. Go so NH do I go, go NHS. Yeah. With advantage three times. I'll just deal with the Survival. Days. Yep. With advantage three times. Yep. Sure. Survival yeah. with advantages three times. Thank yeah. you. Just to yes, round it off, by the way. <laughs> was just... And that was survival three with advantage times. three times. Yeah. <laughs> three times. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so it's only Come one. On, that's got to be good. That's not bad. It's only one day you just need to actually eat rations. So does everybody want to mark off Even two? It was a critical in the first one. Yeah, so yeah. we'd need. We just had yeah. a banquet in the first one and stabbed in the second one. <laughs> skill <laughs> checks don't crit. It's not a thing. <laughs> yeah, so we'd argue with five E, buddy. <laughs> we'd we'd need two rations for for me and my. Yeah, and so every day has to go down to rations for uh, day two because obviously day one was so good that maybe I'd uh, Arya hunted too much. <laughs> to be fair though, day one was actually really good because if you look, even Crumbar's assist roll, which is obviously what I take as the second roll, yeah, was well. damn good. So he's basically you took everything <laughs> on day one. <laughs> We really panic did. bide. He's panic bought everything from the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, too soon, bro. Too soon. <laughs> is it though? Because we're living it right now. I don't know if it is too soon. It is now. <laughs> it is appropriate. Mm. Uh, it's everyday mark off two rations, um, and then yeah. So you just get up on the fourth day. And what's the plan? Continue on the road or go by other means as you head north? Yeah, just continue on as we are doing. Trotting see. along. Smashing baddies in the face, burning bodies, the dead people. You know, the use. Mm -hmm. So it's probably a bit. Let me just work this out. It's more here. I probably want to avoid that. That can be a straight line. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take that long to get there, to be honest. Um, especially by horse. So, do you want to just give me another couple of rolls then? So, just give me another three rolls with advantage? Because you're going to do that anyway, let's face it. So, are you? Another three rolls. Can do. Yeah. Yep, yep. I'm just I just checked, there. I still have advantage on. Good, good. Uh, Assuming Crumbar chooses to help each time. Two, I mean, you'd think so. Three. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> the help is appreciated once. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's maybe just that maybe Arya's getting tired of having to hunt constantly for everybody. Maybe that's all the, the reason. I, I also keep everybody on course and whatnot. Uh, and Crumbar's sad right, that we haven't guys. found any other enemies to fight, so it's like... I mean, if you, if you want to find people to fight, that's easy to do. You just mm -hmm. start like, swearing at the, the Wizard King loudly. <laughs> that's it. It's like, <laughs> Ari is looking for food while I'm fighting. Dead. He's like, I'm just looking for people to fight. And it's like, no, no, that's not what we're doing. But yeah, so... Uh, so, three, six? Uh, yeah, it would be six. Six more rations. I am down to nine. I'm assuming everybody else is. My mum just informed me that there was on, on TV, they were showing, you know, at eight o'clock that people were like clapping and stuff and setting fireworks. Up. And, uh, they showed you North London and everyone was out in the streets. <laughs> oh my God. No, seriously. Yeah. Also, I don't even know. I don't even know about any of this. So it's well, like four more, on, not six. Media or stuff, then you miss it. Yeah. But back in our game, it's four rations, not six, because the last roll was a success. Alright, uh, 
so I gained two rations. But... Um, so is it two more oh. than we that we used to? That so the first day you used two, and the second day okay. you used four. So it was six total, if that's maybe what Scott meant, not an additional six. Which is why I wrote four more, not six, in the chat. So basically, the journey has cost you six rations for every day, but that actually fed your horses and whatnot. Oh, the horse! Yeah, that makes sense now. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was like, I love, I love how the <laughs> druid forgot about the animals. No, it's just the idea of like I was trying to do the mental math, and I'm like, why do I use two every mm -hmm. day? <laughs> yeah, we're really hungry. I was like, a crumper, I understand, but my cat doesn't oh, that much. Savage. Um, I mean, you're as hu you're very hungry, hungry as a horse, you might say. But um, don't. No. This hundred is why damage. I. Hundred yeah, damage. this is. This is <laughs> no, why I don't. Do so hungry, you could eat a horse. I why get... is the non-native speaker correcting the native speakers on this? <laughs> I mean, your boyfriend's French, right? He's he he. Let's he's keep it civil. So. Uh... <laughs> So yes, you are coming up. Yeah, I'm helping. I'll wait. It's fine. <laughs> no, we're coming up to something. Yes, we're coming up to the doors, the big massive stone doors of Anvil. I don't hit them with a hammer. No. Nope. <laughs> I. As you are, uh, like they, they, you can see them off in the distance. They're still like a ways away. Mm. Um, see how you were mentioning about just thinking back. So, me and Reach are both part of the Golden Order. The Golden Order and the dwarves can have a, you know, understanding. There's even that guy that we met who is in the Golden Order but had the dwarf armor on. What, is there a General Commander Kiel. That um, one. Um, is there a chance that me or Reach have been here before? I don't know. Hey, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> See, it was my spell of eek that uh, saved you. <laughs> um, I don't know. You tell me. Like, Would you have had any oh reason God, to come here? Again. No, you're with us. I mean, General Paladin about the path. Might have had to come up here for a previous mission. Might have had to run a toaster to something. I really want toaster now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I know what you're getting on break. <laughs> <laughs> more beer. Um, and toast. I might actually put myself a drink on break if it's going to be like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. I'll go for a wee Ooh, are we going on to spirits? All right then. Where's my gin? Um, <laughs> yeah, the 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 stuff with the thing. Yeah, like so we could have came here for. Well, I'm asking you, what would what would your reason be? Like, what what would, why would you have oh. been to Anvil before? Right. You tell me, Crumble. Um, I could have been here to. I was gonna say ask for assistance, but that doesn't really work. What's that? For? It's a, Who's it's that? A, it's a spirit. All right. Another Yay. spirit. There <laughs> um, we go. I mean, chances are, if, we're, if I was here before, it would only be like as a kind of, I need to stock up on supplies and sleep and stuff. So yeah, like, Anvil being underground and kind of involved, and in, as I said, the, the most excitement that happens here is the trade hub, right? Like, this is... Mm. Anvil's pretty big. It's like it's a massive trade city for the dwarfs. Um, and there isn't sorry, there isn't an actual Golden Order nope. outpost here, is there? No. Nope. Like the Commander General is a rarity in the fact that he is like the head of the Dwarf King's armies and also like a member of the Golden Order, right? Him being both, it could almost be considered like he's like an honorary member of the Golden Order. If that yeah. makes sense. Um, there isn't really a Golden Order presence here. But it's not to say you maybe haven't been here before. Uh, if you want, we could do a, a dice roll if you wanted. I... Mm. I mean, I'm just saying for me and Reach. I mean, obviously, if the girls can think of a reason that they've been before. 
Bye. So I'm talking about you though first. So let's focus yeah. on you. So do you want to make want to put it down to a dice roll if you can't decide and I can't decide? Because I don't have a reason yeah. why you wouldn't be here. I am, but do you want to do a d20 and we'll see uh, how well you do? Just a d20, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, and we'll say what. What do you want? It. When you want. Never mind. You've rolled, haven't you? <laughs> yep. I don't think you've been here. <laughs> yeah. Don't, normally, don't, lower don't numbers get, are negative. Yeah. I've nah, definitely not. I, I have 100% never been here before. Mm -hmm. In fact, if Adri didn't stop me, I would have walked right past the door. <laughs> the, um, what about everybody else? That's probably a valid question. Has anyone ever been to Anvil before? Um, or like have a reason to? Because, again, like if you were looking I to... genuinely can't think of a reason why Arya would have been here. Yeah, like it's... Same here, I'm afraid. Yeah. yeah, it's not just that you needed to have been here before, it's just... If he's wanted to have had that in your backstory, it can obviously be retroactively let it in. Because um, as far as I know, like Reach pretty much spent most of his time in either in the, the south. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, like primarily in the south, really. Um, yeah. I think the most north he might have travelled might have been Glitterhagen, right? Um, for Reach, I think for Kitty, it was primarily Horizon and then the Queenswood, so kind of the opposite sides mm. of the world. Um, and then obviously Arya, mostly the Wildwoods, and then slowly head. She's, this is probably the most north maybe Arya's ever been. Maybe. Likely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is maybe like a first time for everybody. Um, luckily, there's a trade road to it, which is handy, which is why you've got here relatively well on your horses. Um, you are passing a lot of like villages and settlements and. The equivalent of what would be considered like shanty towns. See, like when you see movies set in like South Africa, and it's all like you know, Brazil kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly the same type of build up. It's like dwarves living on top of dwarves living on top of dwarves, in the in the equivalent of like slum buildings thrown together. Mm. And dwarves are known for um, caring about their architecture and maybe overcompensating with their architecture. So the fact that these places are kind of poor quality. Yeah, it's, that says something. But you pass through a whole bunch of these um, before you even get to the, like the big, huge stone doors of Anvil. It's almost like a like a mini city unto itself. So it's the plan, as <laughs> the lineup of yous ride in. I always have this comic image of a uh, Kitty's poor horse as it lops to the side. <laughs> 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 From all the loot. It doesn't um, have much on it. Just me. <laughs> yeah, and you have everything. <laughs> Make sure everybody's re equipped your armor and stuff, because I'm assuming you're traveling in armor, so. That would make yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. um, gotta be ready for when bitches wanna throw down. Mm. Um. I guess first things first would be find stables to put the horses up in. Yeah. Let's see. Trying to roll perception then? If that's what comes to Grumbar's head. Not persuasion. Perception. Be the right one. It is the right one. Yay! Check me knowing how to read. Yeah, like, there are animals around, but there's not not anything that looks like it's like they're being corralled in any way. Um, through, like, the kind of slum kind of towns. Mm, maybe further in the city? Like, or the town, or the whatever we're in? Yeah, you can still, like, you can just, you can skip the shanty town if you want entirely, and just head. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really see why I would want to hang about in a shanty town. As, uh, like, we've not got any real business here. Probably yeah. like hundreds of dwarven kids, like, or I say hundreds, but maybe like you know, tens of uh, dwarven kids, like, obviously around the horses, um, because obviously it's strangers in the town, right? So, mm. these are quite a colourful bunch, as it were. Literally wearing gold. <laughs> <laughs> I bring gold and death. <laughs> our, our team name is Bling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you're like, Arya isn't a gold breastplate thing. 
Like Crombar is head to toe in gold plate mail. Uh, Reach has gold bling bracers and a gold robe. And then you've got a uh, kitty that's well. She jingles. <laughs> <laughs> Like wow! Every, okay. every, every every weapon she has is made of gold. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you should be robbed constantly. Quite frankly, they can try, bitches. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, you can uh, just kind of ride past this place if you want, or you can try and find somewhere here. But you don't. De you definitely don't see anything like stables or anything like that. But you don't really see any businesses, though, if that makes sense. Like, this isn't like, um, you don't see like a tavern or anything like that, or an inn. It's just all these kind of like thrown together buildings. What about everybody else? What's everybody else up to? Probably just surveying. Yeah. Like keeping an eye out. <laughs> Making sure there's no pickpocket children. Is that what you're saying? I know. I, I imagine. No, she's looking for folk to pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, these are my coins. You stole from me, how dare you? <laughs> you only know that because you stole from me. It's not the point. Yeah, yeah no, I've got no business in it. I think I'm just focused on getting to where we need to be and don't really care about shanty town which is no real use to us there's not going to be any you know people here who will be willing to fight for the golden order so yeah i just tr I'd, I'd just say trump trump along hey reach how are you i can't think anything in here today as well so yeah just keep yeah, going yeah she won't really be into it mm. Uh, yeah, you can just like kind of ride past, and I don't know, like maybe an hour or so, like kind of navigating your way through this again. Just looks like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are uh, again just living in squalor outside the gates of Anvil, and obviously this is like the main route to get there, so people have to like pass here, um, and then you get into like the big kind of stone gates, kind of carved into the mountainside. Uh, they are open, of course, big, huge, huge things that you could see from like ways away. Uh, dwarven guards and whatnot, and they obviously yeah. give you say they eye you up as you all kind of like enter. Uh, you just get inside, and like this is obviously like an underground like, kind of. I thought I was just going to say underground city, but it is just a civilization that lives in the mountain at this point. Mm. So. You start to head in. The lighting obviously changes, so it's a lot darker uh, inside. Uh, there's some lighting in the form of like gemstones and fungi and stuff under the walls, but primarily like now like there's very little assisted lighting. And um, there isn't like torches or braziers burning or anything like that, or braziers burning, um, <laughs> like because dwarves see in the dark, so they have no need for it, right? Um, the idea of like maybe occasionally you might see people that aren't dwarven, like the occasional human, walking around with a torch or a, like a magic light source of some kind. Um, and yeah, it just it's reminiscent to Glitterhagen in the sense that if Glitterhagen was built inside a mountain, this is what this place would look like. Um, only everything's made of stone, obviously and carved into rock and whatnot in here. So. What did you do? Mm. Okay, now I try and find somewhere for the horses to go. Yeah, you don't even need to roll for that. Like that's relatively easy to find. You can yeah. stable up your horses if you want. Uh, I need to find out how much that costs, Scott. <laughs> Cost to stable horses in. <laughs> the first result is Scotland. 5e, I'm afraid. Google 5e. Because why would it be a real question? Um, <laughs> God. How to take care of your horse, d and Reddit. <laughs> Are you going to actually answer my question, or is it going to be terrible? 
I don't know, I think I might just go with hotel prices, right? So let's see how much it costs to actually stay here for you guys. And I might just charge you the same for the horse. That seems easier. Right, expenses. <laughs> um, let's see. Lodgings. What kind of lodgings do you want, guys? Because I'm assuming you maybe want to... Like... Rest old up. western style ones where it's just tie up at a... I mean for you. No, I'm happy with just common digs. Yeah, we don't need anything special. Right. So your options are squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy, or aristocratic. Poor well, should be okay, I would think. But... What was like, that, Sophie, sorry? One that won't... Like, leads was being robbed, maybe. So, like, a decent one. So modest, then, maybe? Comfortable, yeah. maybe, even? like Modest. Yeah. Well, modest. Modest sounds good, yeah. It's only... F Not good enough. It's uh, five silver pieces a day for modest, so... Yeah, that works for me. So, make just double that, because I'll assume your horses are in included with that, then. So, what's that, one gold it's now become? Really? No. Because it's ten how, silver pieces. How, so. how convenient. Yeah. So one gold to get some uh, some modest housing for the day. Ninety-five gold. And then, yeah, I mean, you're in a city now, essentially, big dwarven mm. city. Um, there are like hey. various races here, as I said. There are definitely various races here, but it is predominantly dwarven. Right, well, first things first, I can just assume all your horses. I, I want to, how much are rations? Hey, that's a good question. Rations are, uh, for one day of rations it's five silver pieces. <laughs> Right, five, ten, fifteen. So two rations per gold is maybe a better way to look at that. Two rations per gold, right. Yes, that is a much better way. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to spend... I'll take that in as well. Two gold and pick up four rations just to take me up to fifteen. Um... I think, like, as you're going around buying the stuff, like, you're getting some strange looks, Grumbar, just from the, like, the merchants. Maybe something you're not that, like, so, un unaccustomed to, of course, though. Yeah. I'll, I'll press on on this, though. So the, I'm assuming that the merchant I have bought these rations off of is giving me said, the same said look. Yeah, and so are the customers that have been coming and going mm -hmm. as well, while well, you've been trying to work out the the money. I'll I'll just uh, as a as a hand over the money to him and everyone or just probably notice it then, and I'll just look at the uh, shop teller and just be like something making you uncomfortable. And then the old woman behind the. Uh, the kind of ration counter, as it were. Wrapping up your rations that you're buying. Slides them across. Just like taps with her fist on the uh, mm. the counter. One hand on the, the package. Puts her hand up for the money. In the sense that like, she's not got her hand open for the money, but she's tapped the counter with like a closed fist and her other hand's on the, mm. the ration. Yeah, I'll just put, you know, I just put the money, like the coins, down and slide them over to her. Yeah, and then they'll take the money. Um, try to roll history for me on that. I can maybe yeah. maybe tell you a bit more. Where is history? History. No. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. I dwarves don't ask for money, like with their hand up and such. That's that's seen as say. Uh, Rude. Disrespect. And yeah. yeah, like the idea that they have to ask for money during a transaction. Yeah. No, you should be 
eager to give your money to get the stuff you want. So, mm. aye, and maybe that's what the tap is. The tap's almost courtesy to be like, well, pay now without them having to say, give me the money to people that aren't dwarves. Um, so that's like a cultural <laughs> thing. Uh, but yeah, um, obviously you ask them that question. And then once the, the money is done, they take the money, put it in their little stone box, I guess. And uh, you're from that order? The Golden Order? Yes, I am. <coughs> I know. ask what your business is here? Not at all. We're seeking audience with the cat. Like, just a look on her face and then says, I see. Important business. Very important. Golden order business. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything else you would like to uh, buy today? Will be uh, closed for the foreseeable future. Why would that be, pray tell? You said you, you had important business with the king. To give you another look. So why would you close for because of my business? She shakes her head and just says, like, the equivalent. Uh, you speak Dwarven, right? Do you? No? No, I speak not Dwarven. <laughs> uh, common, think. Inferno, and Orc. Was MDL buying rations? I probably would have been because I'm down to... Yeah, four. me too. Did oh, any I use... speak I was going to say, yeah, if you hear, you just hear the, the old woman just say dark days in Dwarven. Um, she mm. shakes her head. I'll, uh, you can roll insight if you want, uh, if you want to try and work out why. Yeah, I would be curious. Mm -mm. Well, I'm guessing it's not every day the Golden Order come around asking for... Yeah, why would the Golden Order be anywhere? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably look at her funny and try to figure out. Yeah. If, like, if you want, you can roll. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have it. Oh, okay. good roll. Still a 19 regardless. I... Yeah, but still. Oh, mine's frozen. I toggled that off. So, yeah, Arya, maybe it dawns on you that Crumbars just told this woman that he is from the Golden Order and he is here on Golden Order business to see the king. Which yeah. probably means demons everywhere. Fair enough, yeah. So, so this old uh, woman's just like, oh god, there's demons here. I'm packing up. In fact, I've got an <laughs> idea then. Um, I mean, Crumbar hasn't worked this out. Well, 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 we've got her here, then I'll, be, I'll just say to her then, I'll be like, this is actually uh, my first time. Are we in Forge the Now? No. Or is Forge the other place? Where is Forge it? Forge is like the war, like. Forges where like the king is. That's the royal. Capital. Yeah, yeah. So in the bit we're in the now is Anvil. Anvil, right? Um, I would just say it's like this is actually um, my first time in Anvil. So you are here Can... on the map there, mm -hmm. and Forge is there. Mm -hmm. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell me what how what the best way to get to Forge is. Kind of shakes her head a bit. She says, No, you're right there. I wouldn't, unfortunately. Forge is a dwarven city. She kind of just kind of looks at all of you. Turns like, Yes, I'm not aware of that. Surely they are still open to guests. Guests are usually invited. If you get my meaning. Hmm. Just like slowly well, nodding, like moving like she's you can clearly see she's starting to like pack stuff away, like while talking yeah. to you guys, because she's clearly <laughs> not one to hang around. Um Hang fire. Hang fire. Like 
And what of what about visitors? Do you not get? Do they not get many? Anvil's the city open to visitors. This is for the you know the public. This is where people come to trade. Mm. And they're Sadly, too dangerous for others, outsiders. She kind of just shakes her head and says the dwarven mm. phrase for dark days again. Sadly, we're not here for only for trade. We need the help of the king. She laughs and then very quickly stops herself laughing. And Kyle looks a bit embarrassed. No need to no, no need to stop. What do you find funny? She um mutters something in Dwarven, so obviously Kitleth understands. It's just her like rambling about pff, like the king's gonna help it anyway, but it's not a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. But obviously she says that in Dwarven, so mm -hmm. I'll just say it's like, well can you at least tell me how I would attempt to get to an uh, forge? She <laughs> smirks, leans on the, the counter, leans into you and goes, how big's your army? And he just <laughs> laughs again. <laughs> I'll go. Can I roll history? I want to know how susceptible to bribes and stuff or <laughs> enormously I can tell you straight away. I was yes. gonna say I mean you're eighteen for like dwarven history is fine that you got before because that was about what dwarven customs are like. Um mm. yeah, like you can pay a dwarf for almost anything. Okay. However I... what you mm. pay them will directly translate to what you think of them. What do you mean? What do you think? I if mean, you really I... like them, you'll pay them a lot more. What, sorry? If you want a really good time with dwarf, you'll pay them a lot. That's what it pretty much means, right? <laughs> yeah. If you like them, yeah. What's yeah. the last currency called? Platinum. <laughs> or was it TP? I think we, we, we shared. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so I'll just hold... There. I'll just hold up... Um, Two platinum, kind of. I'm just like, is are you sure there's not anything else you could tell me? She says, "Sorry, tell you? You mean sell you, right?" And she just like <laughs> grins. Well, sell me information, yes. What do you want to know? She's kind of like, she looks at obviously the money, but she looks at you as if she's not really paid attention to the money you've you filled up. I want, it's like, as said before, I want to know the way into Forge. She laughs and she says, I can tell you that for free. I think I already did, in fact. Puts her hands on her hips. Become a dwarf. There you'll go. <laughs> Keep in mind, these are all really Nordic, Norse-worshipping people, right? That's just that they all are going to be really Scottish when I do it, so... <laughs> just keep that in mind. This is a Norse culture. <laughs> it will never it seem just like that. sounds Scottish. So yeah. Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because the default the dwarf is Scottish. Scottish, yeah. <laughs> In Hollywood, but yeah. Yep. <laughs> but mines are all like Norse, like kind of themed. So yeah. yeah. I just can't do that. Come on, I, I mean, never painted them. I always look more Viking. -ish. Yeah, that's. I just prefer the Vikingy vibe to them personally. Just no boats, obviously. Or just say they they're from Shetland. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, because I'm assuming we will not know the way into. I, I can't really imagine it's. Well, you've never been here before, yeah. Like, um... I, mm. hence I why I'm kind of... we could find the big city quite easily. I would reckon, but yeah, whether or not we get in safely is going to be the hard bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, I mean, you, know, you can spend some time asking around. This is literally one mm -hmm. person that sells rations, right, for travelers. So mm -hmm. I'll just be like that. Um, like a cartographer. So I guess. Look at one, yeah. Do you know who would love maps? Probably Aramos. Yeah, like think how much of a story that tells like a map itself my god that's yeah. a cool idea <laughs> yeah um we're i don't really think i'm getting any information out of this she's one. not even looked uh, even hinted that she's going to take two platinum off you quite mm. frankly i mean i thought i was being generous there <laughs> i mean she runs a shop in like what is the equivalent of the public capital right so yeah but Platinum, still platinum. You're correct, it is, but maybe she thinks what you're asking is worth more than that. <laughs> don't know though. I mean, Crumbar hasn't rolled insight at all yet, so we, do, we don't really know what you're thinking, what she's thinking. Um, can I roll insight for this? If you want, yeah. Don't know, roll insight. <laughs> so, yeah, she clearly, um, she thinks that you're kind of implying she knows criminal elements. No, I'm gen like I'm no, but like that, that, sorry. This is what you yeah. read from her. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like I'm genuinely just asking her. The thing is, it doesn't matter what you're doing. This is what mm. she's getting. Um Turns out when a giant orc policeman is staring at something and saying, <laughs> How's about a wee bribe? So that you can tell me how to break into your dwarven only capital city where your king lives, eh? How about that? Talk about not demons, eh? How's and you could have a better chance trying to seduce her. <laughs> I'm not a bard. Now you can lose a drinking contest, that always works. Yep. Um <laughs> Right. Um on that I will Pull out another three platinum. Okay. And just say to her, say to her, I'm like, legitimately, how would I enter Forge? She kind of sighs. She, like, she puts the box down that she was packing away. She walks back to the counter. She says, <sighs> You, eh. Uh, You want to tell me what's really going on? She kind of just like looks at you. Like an old woman that's after some gossip. I'll put the coins back in my wee coin purse. She eyes you doing every single motion. <laughs> and I'll like kind of lean in just to be kind of... I love that you have a small, really dainty purse on your belt. On your giant gold plate mail. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, this is my in. bribe purse. Sorry. Yeah, so I just kind of lean in and just say to her, I was like, there's a demonic army pouring in. Oh, in fact, I'll re restart that. <laughs> say, Quick load. Yep, sorry. Yep. That never happened, I was say. I'm sure you're, I mean, like, you are aware of the abyss, I guess. Just, again, says that same dwarven phrase she's been saying a few times now. Shakes her head a bit and shivers. I'll take that as a yes. Well, there's, an, there's a, a demon army pouring through it. One like, as, one like I have never seen before. And the Golden Order is not going to be enough to hold it back. We need help. Yeah, she just burst out laughing. I'm like... She then uh, burst out laughing, like tears from her eyes laughing. Like, and then uh, just <laughs> goes back to the stuff she's been packing away and slowly unpacks it. Here's me thinking you were being serious. I am being serious. And she kind of like does that thing where she stands with the one box under her arm and another hand goes on her hip as she leans and she says, How am I supposed to know that? You just came in here, you want business with a king, you're not a dwarf, you tell me 
There's nothing to worry about. Then there's demons everywhere. The abyss is miles away. Yes, the abyss is miles away. And the army is miles away. But if we can't stop it at the source, it won't be too much longer before they end up being here. We got here just fine. How many demons can there be? She kind of shrugs to herself. Like, <laughs> thumps the, the box she's been holding onto the countertop. Uh, well, there's currently three armies fighting them at the moment, and they're not winning. I mean, is that technically true? I think. <laughs> I don't know, it's at least two. I think there's three if you include the princesses, but... Uh, I mean, currently... You've got the Wizard King, you've got the Golden Order. I mean, none of them are actually at the Abyss, though. Only the Golden Order at the edge of the Abyss trying to stem the... the escaping Well, the demons. Wizards should be there by now. They were going, and... I mean, that was literally mm. three people that said they were heading to the Golden Order. Yeah... It was granted. It was I'm the not head. It's a big army. I was gonna say yeah, it was the head of the Wizard King's army, the head of the Dwarf King's army, and a random gnome <laughs> who had a weird bag. Um, but those three have headed towards the Golden Order, and they're probably there by now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Unless they got way late I'll for just, any reason. I'll just say, uh, like, well. The, 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 their numbers are too many to fathom, but the Golden Order in its entirety can, are struggling to hold it. Well, actually, we need allies. To feel. Yeah, that's why yeah. we're here. Yeah. Five, it could even be that you bought in and say that if you're in the shop. Yeah. I think I can, can't I? Because um, mm -hmm. I'm not buying anything myself, so I'm not yeah. doing anything myself. Yeah, you can so, just, yeah. yeah I was going to say, you can just cool. be with the group. You know, I, I, I doubt we'd really but, split up in this. Yeah, no, <laughs> and then you say, everybody scatter. Quick, we're all lost. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so like you can you can have buzzed it and said that, and then uh, the woman just lifts the box back off the counter and starts packing everything up slightly faster this time. Should have said so, that at the start. Shouldn't have wasted my time. She just starts like <laughs> throwing stuff in the box now. Well, unless you're going to somewhere that uh, that demon can't reach, then it's a waste of time moving anywhere. Anvil's very well defended. We'll just close the doors. And to be fair, like like Anvil is like literally a mountain, right? So if they did close yeah, the doors to the mountain, it, it would be reasonable, yeah. right? Yeah, it's four knocks, can I? Yeah, but it's also not like I mean, let's face it, it is a mountain, Bunker. so it's not like the only way in, yeah. right? Crumbar thinking back of all the hammers he's broken, I'm like, no door holds forever. <laughs> They've already broken through the abyss. I doubt a mountain would stop. Well, hopefully they'll be tired by the time they get here. She's still like packing away. You have a tired demon. I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of laugh at that, and I was like, "You, you cannot give demons mortal traits." Yeah, I've seen a hungry demon. I've never seen a tired one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see an angry demon in a second if you keep scaring an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I just kind of like put my hand up to reach, just to be like, right, stop. And I'll be like, like, like he was the problem. <laughs> no, no, like just a kind of like just a kind of polite interrupt way of interrupting him, you know. And just say, I was like, well, well you're on about wasting yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, hey, I will fuck up a store woman, um, and I'm just like, well, you're on about wasting time. Our time is of the essence. We need to see the king. Are you going to help us or not? I don't know. You aren't demons, huh? Just looks at you and suspiciously. I just, I, I know. Is that racist? Did you just think an orc is a demon? Um, she she kind of like eyes you like narrowly when you say that, and then she turns. No, to no, no. I, I mean, unless you're saying out of character, I'm going to take it as in character. Yeah, out of character. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, demons can't touch our armor and stuff, can they? Can't do what? <laughs> You're making that up, yeah. Mm. 
I mean, I think you'll find um, demons have touched your armor a lot. Remember the, the massive fight you had? Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, like, they wouldn't wear it and stuff, or would they? I don't know. I, don't know, like, um, I mean, let's see, right? Let's say a demon could cast illusion spells. They wouldn't need to pretend to wear your armor. People would yeah, just see it. Um, Gold is such a hard thing to mimic. Your face is a hard thing to mimic. It actually is. Um, it's really specific. Uh, Kitty, do your do your skill and take over from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Could ask um, Kitty to turn into a demon briefly. Well, how would that help well, the situations too? Yeah. yeah, that's the demon. This is not a demon. Easily to tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls crossbow from underneath the counter. Yeah. <laughs> One demon left. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Like artificer we can make for you now, I guess. You know, dwarven artificer. There you go. New recruit. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a magical bag. Yep. Yeah, we need to get your bag of holding at some point, definitely. Oh dear. You need to get that bag of adventure that uh, that we gnome had. <laughs> Unwanted adventure was the word you had missed out there. Yeah. Adventure! But yeah, so this um, one just like goes back to pack because if there's nothing more you just want to buy from me, I'll get stuff to pack away. Since apparently the apocalypse is coming. There's not much money to be made in apocalypse, you know. It does make good business sense to try and avoid it. If you know what's, that's why I'm packing up. Uh, if we can get to the Dwarf King, we might be able to keep business flowing around the land. There's more gold for everyone. And then she, she piles that like box she's working with in like, the back, and then she kind of turns around and goes... Puts a hand on her shoulder. Or like a hand on her hip, sorry. Her shoulder, that's weird. Puts a hand on her <laughs> hip, and then she's like... Do I look like some kind of royal envoy? Uh, you, I know, what a tough question to answer. Yeah, as, <laughs> yes, is the answer, because I never say no. But you look lordly, lordly enough to be a, a royal envoy. Right, yeah. Are we going to go for persuasion here or deception? Rich, you tell me. That's not uh, deception. <laughs> so, persuasion, you going to go for that, yeah? I've worked, I've lived with dwarves, I know they're all mm -hmm. look the same kind of thing. Yeah, so I mean, like, not, as I said, uh, your mentor's a dwarf, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. this persuasion, or what was the other one, by the way? Persuasion or deception, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> right, okay. I'm really not good at either of them. There you go. Oh, right, there well, you go, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> See, sometimes the dice like people. It does. <laughs> She kind of like, like gambling on it though. <laughs> she like sighs, and there's like the flicker of a smirk at that. <laughs> and she says, "So you've got a demon's tongue then?" <laughs> and then she like walks forward, <laughs> and then kind of like puts her hands on the countertop, and like they're all covered in like what look like really old fucking like jewel encrusted rings that she's got almost in every single finger. Big huge things like anyone with dainty wrists could probably wear them as like you know. A bracelet, and uh, she just sighs again. She says, "I don't have any personal connections to the king besides being a dwarf." She kind of just like does that thing where she like acknowledges every part of the sentence with her head nodding, and she says, "So, you's coming into my shop buying my stuff, asking me to get you an audience with the king is flattering as it it might be." She's looking straight at you when she says that, which not really a crumper. But I can't exactly just walk you into the palace, can I? <laughs> Brackets in, We're Nord merely, in Nordic. <laughs> We're merely just asking for directions to the palace. Not for you to escort us. <laughs> she just kind of laughed to herself for that. You know, catch me on the undermarch just now. Too dangerous. If you want to get to How's Forge, you will need to be uh, invited by the king or some some other random noble. Get you through the Undermarch. Are there any nobles lo locally that we could speak with? She like flicks her hair 
like oh, off her shoulder over her back. So, so apparently myself. I'll just say that. At your reach. I'm just gonna <laughs> interrupt. And what is it with Reach and Dwarfs? I'm actually just starting to think of this because wasn't Broga into Reach as well? Who was a dwarf? Yeah. Fuck's sake, Reach. Yeah. I know. I see that he has a type. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, you were um, like you were trained and raised by one, so I guess it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> with dwarfs, I would yeah. 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 I think uh, I think the most important thing we should be asking right now is um, what's so dangerous about the underpass? Not under much. Yeah. Have you ever been in an underpass? Never go <laughs> down at night, by the way. It's yeah, and it's sure. always night time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Underground. <laughs> under the mountain. Mm-hmm. Under the mountain. So yeah, so she says that, and then uh, after she like smirks at the fact that she's uh, joked about her being noble, she's like, there probably is one or two kicking about in the city, but I mean, I don't know anybody personally. I mean, you may have noticed that my shop's near the door. Right, we want an expensive clothes shop that does works for, uh, provides suits for short people. Are you saying all this to her? Because, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Provides suits for all races. Mm. Uh, or, or at least just worse. <laughs> and she's like, well, I'll need to look about. Places in Anvil can change pretty quickly depending on what's in fashion. Adjust her outfit that she's wearing. Which is modest at best. <laughs> I want to find out what's up with the underpass. So, Still yeah, I'll. We just need to find uh, a noble. I was going to say, you could just ask anybody else that's maybe travelled yeah. it recently, right? I am. Um... Oh. I've lost Adri. What was. Ah, oh, yeah. But uh, you could. Um... I mean, there are taverns and bars and shit like that. You could all try and. Close yeah, up to I don't know. I don't really think we're getting much off of this woman. She's literally a merchant that sells travel food. <laughs> it's about like you trying to get someone invited to see the Queen. Ain't mm. going to help her, can I say? Hey, no. you don't know who my connections. I've got a good idea, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... I might be a the, the better compromise here would be you work in Greg's and some, like, four random people of different races, none of which are dwarves, have asked to come see the Dwarf and King. Who isn't even in the city that you work in the Gregs of? Can you see why that's weird for this woman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've just told her demons are coming from the abyss. Oh dear gods, everything's bad, and the people who fight demons to keep everything safe can't do it. That's what you've told her. <laughs> for some reason, that worried her. But I, don't I know, know, right? I don't know why. I mean, just so she knows as well. Uh, for a uh, Scots benefit mostly. Uh, there is a panic bar I'm starting now uh, for how quick it takes for her to spread that through Anvil um, because mm-hmm. that's going to be interesting. Well, I'll I'll just... Um... Out of yeah. character, me was like, oh god, you know, shaking her head here. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll just be like, well, we won't trouble you anymore. And... Uh, and she, we shall be on our way. She, as you were saying that as well, she just says, trouble me till your purse is empty if you wish, but don't, please don't take up my precious travel time now. Apparently it's finite. <laughs> I'll just, a, a, a bit of, you know, smart, and just be like, well, be seeing you, and then I'll just head to the door. And she kind of just like, does that half-hearted waving you off. Mm-hmm. Uh, did anybody else buy rations and here, from the women out of interest? And here I thought they just had a problem with me being an orc. I sh- shouldn't really care what race you were, to be honest. You had money. Yeah, it was just the fact that it was golden order. It was the fact that you said to her, demons are coming for you. <laughs> no, but mind at the start you're like, yeah, sh- all the merchants and stuff are giving you weird looks. Yeah. You've not You've not worked that out yet, though. Oh, I thought it was just. I, I mean, I thought it was she just I was she spoke to you. That one person has spoke to you about it being. You're the Golden Order, aren't you? And you went, "Yeah, I am. I'm here to see the king on important demon business." So yeah, that's just the one thing you've. You don't know why everybody else was looking at you funny. 
Well, you just I'll systematically go and ask attention. them all. Why are you looking at me funny? Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, I don't think I'd care. It's something I'd be used. What's everything else up to then? Crumber has got his food, so. Any other priorities? Mm. Other than trying to find a noble person, not really. Yeah, food here as well. Did you buy stuff there from the wonderful dwarf vendor? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. As I say, two rations per gold piece. Yep, yep. Good, good. And, yeah, I mean... You tell me what you want to go for first. But remember, I've got shed loads of rations, but... <laughs> at the moment. Just a bag of food, watching him buy more food while terrorising a merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So, uh, I actually honestly think find a posh shop. So ideally, one clothing or something like that. that's the kind of one. But uh, I mean, it depends. Like, if you're looking for a noble, you don't just want to find them through a shop, right? You don't need to do it that way. Like, you uh, can just yeah. But walking up to a big, expensive house is going to be even more awkward. But maybe yeah, you could try that, like you randomly knock on dwarven doors. Hello, have you heard the word of uh, the abyss with all the demons pouring out of them? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're from the abyss. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> yeah. A pamphlet. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. You're going to give up worship of Thor, god of thunder, for uh, worshipping uh, the giant gold dragon, maybe? Um, hey, giant gold dragon kicks ass. He does, to be fair. Pretty bitching. Mm. Well, when he shows up. <laughs> I'm very pro the great gold worm, personally. Um, the Yeah, so you could, you could try and, like, I don't know, go harass like some expensive looking houses, um, if you want to search around for those, you can try and uh, like find people, as I said, in a tavern drinking, right? You could try and, I don't know, it's up to you guys. Like you've got a little bit, you could go talk to some of the guards, like at, at like the, you could try and find the the doors to the, the undermarch, right? Yeah, I mean, it's up to, I like, think loads could, of it, you yeah. could also just take a day and rest. As well. Personally, I'd be totally okay with just charging to the undermarch and just being like, whatever dangers are there, we'll just batter them. <laughs> whatever dangers there, we'll just batter them. Yeah. We got we'll axes really like behind stuff. you, give or take. I don't know, <laughs> half a mile or so. Half a fight or not. <laughs> 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 I mean, hmm. Hmm. Like again, it's the thing, you right, guys. You tell thing, me, right? So let's let's go down the list, right? So Arya, what's the next plan in Arya's like to do list? Um, she knows that we need to to speak to to the king, so she's just going along with people that are better at this speaking thing than she is. Okay, so no specific like next step for her. No, I mean if. She'll, she'll still be, you know, just taking care of Freya and uh, just, like, generally taking in her surroundings, but she's obviously not comfortable because she likes to be out of cities. Mm. But, yeah, so she's probably looking around and, like, you know, like a, a child looking with wonder, especially because she's not been here before. Um, but other than that, she's not really got much planned here. So to say. Yeah, if you've got nothing like major to pursue, that's fine. What about uh, Cranbar, your next step specifically? Well, the underpass thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if that's like the kind of main route into Forge, why would there be trouble in it? Yeah, right. So it's making me wonder if there's a, a Hellgate portal right. open the there. The reason why I think there'd be trouble in it is because they're protecting it. And it'd be dwarfs, we'd be... Which might be a quick way to get to see the king, but then the king probably doesn't deal with us. Yeah. Enough, yeah, but that wouldn't be trouble for her or anyone else kind of thing. I think there's something more to So for me, I want to find the entrance because I'm assuming it will be guarded and I who's ever guarding it, what the hell's going on. It's not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. So, 
I'll move down the list then. Get list next on your list of, to do things. Just go with the rest of the guys, really. Like, I mean, how far is the word spread? <laughs> Are we like going past shops and just like they're just like closing the doors? Slowly and pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> No, it's not. I like the idea. It's not bad yet. You haven't had much time yet since leaving the shop. I'm not going to have like the actual time we take to come up with a plan. Be the the time your characters take, but it's probably going to like. You can imagine in a day, it's going to have got around most of like the marketplace. That's for sure. If not further afield, and you're probably going to get a lot more looks because of that. Um, well, I like the idea that we walk by places and you, Kitty overhears people going like, did, did you hear that this is happening? And she just goes up and goes, no, it isn't. I don't know if that's how it works, but yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like I wouldn't really care. Mm -hmm. It's valid. Right? <laughs> Uh, oh, my internet's gone crap again. Just I didn't know anything you said. Reach. What about yourself? I can't think of anything else. That's a bit... yeah. I do think we just want to go somewhere else and see if we can find some nobles. That should be all I can think of at the moment to do here. Right. Where do you want to go looking for nobles then? I think the push ended town. There's got to be a push end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I have a look. Is there a specific type of noble that you're looking for or just hoping? Hoping. Uh, hoping. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can. Uh, can't think of any specific ones that we can. Put in. Right. Well, give me a. Give me a roll. So you all head over to like the posture end of town. Let's head that way. I am. It's probably becoming like maybe evening at this point for, you know, everybody's heads up display clock that you all have, obviously. And yeah, again, like Anvil's constantly busy because there's not really a day or nighttime cycle here. It's just people are there, shops open and close. That's about it, really. There's no way. Uh, particular rhyme or reason to it beyond that's just how it kind of goes. The thing to track down that, you probably want to roll investigate, right? To try and track down like specifically somebody you know is noble. Yeah. Because obviously seeing a well-dressed person is different yeah. from, like, that would be like a perception just to see somebody well-dressed, but to actually learn that they were nobility, you would need to take like the day maybe to just like scout around. Yeah. So yeah, if, uh, is Indy going to help you track down a noble? Uh, I'd give, I'd, I think I'd give him a hand because obviously me and him have kind of gotten into this together. <laughs> you mean you've got him into this with you, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to give me an advantage roll with Investigate then? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, pretty good. Grumber yeah. actually does help, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Okay, let's see how well we do then. Let's... Where is the stuff I use to get the things I like? There we go. And fantasy names. Jigglypuff. Let's see how bad some of these are. Jigglypuff. We don't own that. That's fine. There is so many here that would cause so many issues with Crumbar. I'm not going to have any of these. Uh, okay, let's... A or B, guys. Pick A or B. B. Okay. B it is. I'll add this person in. So we have... Lord. Lord Deep Main. The one I chose not to go for was a Orc Master. <laughs> oh. Skip that political yeah, that issue. Yeah, problematic. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the one that you've never picked was Ash Miner, which I thought was quite a cool name as well. Mudbuckle was a close third. <laughs> um, but yes, so you essentially start stalking this person that you might think is a noble. He kind of like, again, the best phrase I guess, lords around with a, a bunch of like what clearly are cards, like essentially like hired mercs, essentially. It's funny how in the very first sentence you make this sound like it's a really bad idea. I mean, I You're don't, stalking this person. It's not, <laughs> but he's are, right? Because that's pretty much you yeah. have, have investigated this guy for like the better part of an evening to try and work out, are you a noble? It's like what somebody would do before they get mugged, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've managed to do it. I mean, probably not very well, right? So can a... Uh, Reach, do you want to roll stealth for me? And it's just a normal stealth roll. No advantage, no disadvantage, because, yeah. Crumbar's helping, but he's also disadvantaged, so. Right, yeah. So he's as stealthy as an orc in play. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like a bald monk. Yeah, both of you looking <laughs> the most golden order possible. <laughs> Maybe it was just what you do. Do, 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 do. When we were walking down, it was a bad idea. <laughs> On the pen flute. Do, do. <laughs> hey, you yeah. leave my pen flute out But then, I think also the fact that these rumours about the Golden Order being in town, right? Like, that's not helped um, for the better yeah. part of the evening. So, yeah, like, you follow this person. Where is it you would like to specifically approach them? <laughs> Do you want it to be in a slightly secluded part of town to make it look like a proper mugging? Do you want it to be yeah, in a right. tavern? Do you want it to be like, I don't know, in a store Actually, or something? You just tell me when you're A you tavern would be half decent. A tavern would be decent. So somewhere public, but not hundreds of people around them. Mm -hmm. right? So ideally, he's just anywhere on his own, but a tavern would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Everybody else on, on the, the same page? Yeah. Gotta go try and schmooze yeah. with a. A dwarven lord. Um, right, let me get myself a tavern then. Let's find a tavern. Right, fantasy names. Tavern names. That's what we need. Tavern name generator. Do, do we not have one of these? I, I had one of these, yeah. Uh, right, where have we got? That's pretty good, that's pretty good. That's... <laughs> the red stone bar is such an uninspired dwarven name that I'm tempted to go with it. But, uh, hmm. <laughs> the Latino Clam Tavern is not going to be selected. Let's see if we can. Pick a number between 1 and 10. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> so this is called. The overrated branch. <laughs> That's not how you spell tavern, right? Tavern. <laughs> the overrated branch. <laughs> That's what we get from the list of names. Um, there was the Happy Turtle Bar and the Lonely Crab Tavern as well. Lots of them are obviously sea related. The Lonely Crab? That sounds so sad. No, it actually sounds quite good, that one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Like that one, there you go, done. Boom. Power of a GM. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're changing things in the world. There we go. The Lonely Crab Tavern. <laughs> oh, not that there's much in the way of crabs here, but yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, so you end up there. Uh, this like this lord enters there. And then, I don't know, maybe you two go and like, speak to the other two at that point. We have a scene there. Yeah. Hopefully not a scene, but yeah. Mm. Well, ideally a scene for my own presentation yeah. reasons, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say that there's you just obviously walk up, kick over the table and be like, What up, bitch? Well, I mean you just go and tell the other two people in your party what you've been up to since you went off to try and check on this mm. dude. So how does that go? Well it's reached his idea, so yeah. Oh, he can take a look on this one. I'll take point. Yeah. A scary orc may not be the best place Mine. for him to. Yeah. And by that I mean you're gonna yeah. you're gonna tell the two members of your party first. Remember, since they don't know what's yeah. happening. Uh, yeah. Right. Everyone. Yeah. 
we sus- we're guessing this guy's a noble dwarf and we're going to try and see if he'll be able to get us an audience with the, the dwarf king. So everybody, best behaviour, please. Right. And I kind of yeah. nod my head. Can you really have to all of us in this sort of thing? I look <laughs> very innocent. Me? <laughs> Are we rolling to see how much you've stolen already? Like, dear God. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) Wait, wait, hey, wait, you mean I could have stolen this whole time? (laughs) In my defense, I was left unattended. (laughs) Hmm. Yeah, so uh, how did the others react to that? What's the thoughts? I mean, I've kind of been helping, so I don't... Yeah, it's, it's Arya and uh, okay, I'm really talking to. No, so I, I can kind of give him a look, kind of like, do you really have to tell me that? Because obviously I don't create trouble. Mistress of the Flame, yep, no trouble at all. <laughs> well, I've not sabotaged our diplomatic attempt. <laughs> How very diplomatic of you. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, yeah, so no objections then from the party? We can all head on. None, none here. Good. Good. Let's, um, go, let's go shake down an old man. So I think uh, we have the scene of you guys all heading towards the Lonely Crab Tavern. Um, and then obviously you swing open the doors and we will take our break there. And we'll be back at 20 past, I guess. And okay. uh, well, have, yeah. we, have we seen any? So I'll see everybody then. Goodbye for now. Bye. Bye.